Hello, hello, hello. Welcome east, west, north, and south to where we're trying to get to the business. So I'm going to keep this short. Shout out to LNC, Late Night Crew. This is his stream. This stream was the most worth me commenting and us watching because he's on the ground. Anybody who want to talk junk about this guy? And don't get me wrong. I don't agree with some of his commentary. I don't agree with the way he comes at certain folks. But he don't care. He ain't supposed to. But you put your personal opinions aside when he's the one who went on the ground. He went to Dalton to go for one of these meetings. He did. He, he did that. So if you don't like him or his colorful commentary, it's like, well, shut the hell up. Are you there? I don't like some of his commentary, but I'm like, oh, man, I got to take this out. I'm not there. He went. He jumped up. He went. He's there. He's demonetized by the super mayor, a.k.a. Tiffany Henyon, a.k.a. Worst mayor in America, a.k.a. He's demonetized, allegedly, by her and her team. And he still jumped up and went with no money. Out of his own pocket or people said, we're going to fund you coming here. Don't know, don't care, it ain't none of my business. But he still went. Anybody who's not on the ground with that dude, he put his safety in danger. Because we're, we're dealing with some real corrupt folks. If you've been following the Dalton, Illinois stories on YouTube and in the news and nationally. Because even national news has started like picking up on it, doing little clips. <clears throat> so he jumped up and he went there. I got nothing bad to say about that dude. I got no criticism. How he talks is how he talks. We all different. I mean, some of us is off the block too, right? I'm on the East Coast. He's West Coast or wherever he's from, right? But you could tell he'd been through some shit before his journey on YouTube. I got no complaints about him. You know why? Because he was there on the ground. I seen them trying to intimidate that dude. I watched this video that I'm going to play where they were walking around Tiffany's boyfriend, the Woods guy, uh, Keith Freeman, some other nondescripts that we don't know, some guy standing in front of him trying to intimidate him. like, And then Tiffany staring at this guy, LNC. Staring at him. Like all throughout the meeting. She's supposed to be the big mayor and the big supervisor. But you see her staring at him venomously. Pissed off. I saw that. I caught that. Through the whole meeting. Then he left. He abruptly was like, I'm out. And he saw Tammy Brown and a lot of the eyes and ears that he trusts. They bounced. He took that cue. I got to go. Because I already see four or five people forming up at this township at the back door. I seen them all. He seen the distraction that they were trying to make, meaning the guy that's supposedly for Tiffany coming up yelling and screaming. You know, he was the plant in the other Thornton meeting. He ain't even from uh he ain't even from uh Dalton. But he was there at Dalton from another town talking about D-O-T-T-S, that dude. So when he started creating a big distraction, oh, screaming and yelling, did you see all of the people from Dalton jump up and bounce? And Ellen C. said, yeah, I got to go. That's my cue. He said he was getting looks from them saying, we leaving. We, we, we here for you. We here to support you. We here to protect you as more eyes and ears, but we see what's going on. 
they trying to distract. And then something's about to go sideways. So as we're making our exit, you make the exit too. And if you watch the video, he said, yeah, I'm out. And at first I was watching LNC's live like, damn, he just bounced? There's more to see. Like, how, you know, I want to see more. I want to see what Tiffany's going to say. You know, Tiffany Henya, the worst mayor, whatever. But he's like, yeah, I already got what I need. I'm out. So I had to rewind and see, like, okay, why did he just jump up and leave like that? But if you watch his whole stream, LNC, Late Night Crew, you see the way these people are trying to antagonize him, trying to get him to act out, trying to get him to start being the way he usually is on his lives, you know what I mean, on, on his streams. Because he's, he's colorful and he's confrontational. He didn't fall for the bait. He bounced. Like I said. I agree with him sometimes. Sometimes I don't agree with him. Right? Everybody got an opinion. But. I left my goddamn phone on for him. I'm driving through. Doing what I do. Working. Hustling. Whatever. But you know what? My second phone had his live up the entire time. Whether I was paying attention or not, I would keep checking in. Okay, he's okay. He's still talking. He's still recording. Because you know what? That's what people need us to do. Especially if they jump up on their own dime, in their own time, and go someplace where we're very interested in the story. So, yeah. He was the only... <laughs> Live, I was watching the entire time. Until he gets back home, every time I get an alert, bam, my second phone is on. It's on in the car like I'm babysitting. That's how we all need to be. But anyway, getting back into this. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this play out. Let's get to the business. That's a whole now, the reason why he said, I'm sorry, and I'm not going to pause it a lot because I know everybody hates that. The reason why he said, my name is Jedediah Brown and I'm homeless is because Tiffany made it so everybody has to say their name. Where they live at. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I want to know your name, your address, and where you live. But she didn't have to do that. There was, earlier in the meeting, and I'm not covering this whole meeting. I'm just covering this aspect of what I'm talking about as far as LNC. LNC, late night crew. Because I watched everything through his camera, and I could adapt to and see everything he was going through. But... He said, my name is Jedediah Brown and I'm homeless. You know what that mean? Where I live at is none of your damn business. <laughs> Yo, I ain't telling you nothing with this corrupt mayor and these corrupt cops that she's got working for her that will come to your address and harass you. Possibly shoot up your crib, allegedly. All right, let's keep going. And I'm asking for everybody to be as gentle and kind to the employees who have inherited this mess. We are not trying to attack the employees, but if you be disrespectful, we'll have it. And then with that being said, I would like to also say that we're not here for you. But because you work in the government, understand people's lives are affected by the government. And just like I care about the young lady who spoke, I care about the young lady who spoke. He's, he's about to serve it up. Jed, he's watching work. This is his wheelhouse. I'm sorry, the voice that you just heard was LNC, late night crew. He's all the way into the back. You see a guy in orange. He's to the back, to the left of the guy in orange. 
That's LNC. That's uh, his name is Shay. He calls himself Shay. But that's LNC. So when you see him bend down and he's talking into the microphone phone next to the orange guy, that's who he is. That's late night crew. All right. The night's here, and night calls, and night calls arrive. He was looking at Keith Freeman. Wonderfully, I'm going to protect the law. But what I want to do here, because I don't live in this particular area of my homelessness, I want to say this to you too. You got an opportunity, as a black woman, yes. as an elected official, to stand on the shoulders of so many of the most disrespected women in the history of this nation. Let's go, James.
Okay, so this is the lackey lawyer of the township. Like I said, you got to catch up. Go to LNC. Watch some of his prior videos covering it. And if you feel like his videos are too long, if you want a recap, just all in one thing without a lot of commentary, then you go to Hannibal's Hungry. Uh, or you go to, what's the skeleton guy? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you go to uh, Justice Warrior. Those three, or, or Pink Books, they shorten everything up for you. People like me, I'm going to have commentary. LNC, Late Night Crew, he's going to explain to you. Uh, you know, so rewind and listen to what I said. Go to different YouTubers that will report in different ways. But this is this is a lackey. This this is a uh, <laughs> a township lackey. She works for Tiffany Henyard, aka the super mayor, aka the worst mayor in America, aka Tahoe Tiffany. So you got to take whatever she's saying and the grain of salt. Everything she said is geared towards helping the worst mayor in America. No. And Tiffany don't want to answer questions. That's every meeting. I would love to have to answer questions, but I can't force them to do so. So if you would like to ask more questions, you can. Ask the question because we know they're not going to answer. Just add it on the record because they don't want nothing. All right, you're out of order. Can you finish? Now, the reason why the worst mayor in America, the black girl with the orange hair, just in case you don't know, who's sitting there, there's a TV screen behind her, so I know it makes it look like she's sitting with the crowd. She's not. That's a TV screen behind her. Uh, the woman who said something was named Belcher. She's from one of the towns where... Tiffany happens to be the worst mayor in America, happens to be the mayor. And they've been trying to get her out since 2021. So the reason why Tiffany, the, the black girl with the orange hair, <laughs> and we know that's not like natural, but because she, man, the corruption is crazy. The wigs that she buys is crazy. But she's speaking out and grab the microphone because she knows like yeah oh y'all the order you're speaking out of turn and yada 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 because she got an ongoing beef with her because she's one of the spearheads along with a couple of other trustees in that town dalton that want this girl out and she thought that they dalton wasn't going to show up to this township meeting where she's wearing like two hats so I'll continue. But that's why she grabbed her gold microphone. You see, she's got a gold microphone, right? But anyway. I'm the moderator here. You're a resident. You're a resident. So you're a We're going to forward past this because she's trying to get everybody to, and I agree with this woman, don't get me wrong, but 
I can only make so long of a video. So we're going to forward and uh, see if we can get to. Why weren't you our assessor anymore? This is when the trustees and the village of Dalton gets the hell up and gets up out of there. This is the distraction. They knew because this guy went in the back. Hold on, me... I'm sorry, let me pause this. This is one of Tiffany Henyard's lackeys. Tiffany Henyard, the super mayor, the worst mayor in America. This guy is a plant. He's been a plant. He was a plant at the... Uh, he shows up to the meetings. He gets in. He don't come in through the front door. He comes in through the back door. Everybody saw that. I ain't got to, you know, do a million videos on it. But he comes in through the back door. But what he's there for is a distraction. He's there to read off and say things because it showed earlier when he went into the hallway of this meeting and y'all can do your own investigation. You, <laughs> LNC, his video shows it. He went to the back because uh, LNC is there with media so he can't watch everything every single minute. He's got to go back and digest it. He, and he's got to watch a whole bunch of other videos to see what he missed. But we're at home. We're not there. We're not on the ground like he is. So, But this guy, he went into the hallway. He has a little private meeting. Then he came back with a new strategy. Let's put it on a trustee that's of the township. Remember, there are two different things. There's trustees of... Dalton, which is a like a neighborhood in the city, right? If you're from a big city, then there is the township, which is she's like the mayor of a whole bunch of other mayors of a whole bunch of little neighborhoods. It's, it's crazy. So he's the plan. So he's coming in to distract Dalton residents. And Dalton trustees saw, okay, he's trying to distract because they're trying to get to LNC. They're trying to create a bunch of craziness and confusion so they can end that craziness and confusion. They want to get to LNC, late night crew, the guy Shay that's in the back because he's so adamant and he's so colorful with his language towards Tiffany and all her goons and everybody in that town that is working under her instruction. So, in my opinion, he's in the most danger in that room. Like, dead ass. And I'm glad he caught it. And I'm glad that the residents of Dalton caught that. And that's why they was like, bam, you're going to see them all start getting up and walking out. And he might have got some looks off camera where they told him, yo, it ain't safe no more. We all got the bounce. I'm going to continue. You need to censor him because he's giving out some information that should not be given out. You're walking out. You're walking out. You are elected by the people to have you new first things to not belong in the public. And you and Mr. Paul put this thing together. Y'all want to have this rally and this type of stuff. This is, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You broke down everything in this township, but you forgot to tell the people you were in Las Vegas, right? Did you go to Las Vegas? 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 Thanks,
should not. They should be at the township. Let's talk the truth. Let's talk the truth. I understand you got to pay attention to what he's saying, but this guy is a plant and he's a distraction. He went into the hallway before he got up there and they gave him his marching orders. He's there to disrupt, to be a plant. And everybody from Dalton, which is the town where Tiffany Henyard, super mayor, is the mayor of. They knew to get the fuck up out of there. I'm sorry. Get up out of there. I'm uh, sorry, you two. They knew to get up out of there. And LNC said, okay, they bouncing. That's my support team. I came because they said they was going to be there with me. They was watching out for them the entire meeting. They seen when Tiffany was putting her bullies in front of his camera and he had to keep doing all of the crazy things he kept doing just to get us who are sitting at home the footage to see what you got to go through if you're going to go down there and then it can get worse. Your safety can be compromised. We're talking about Illinois. 20 minutes from Chicago is where he was at. Man, ain't nobody playing with their safety like that. You got to be bold. He went. That's why the shit he talked, I let him talk. <laughs> he deserved it. He got the floor. But this guy is a plant. He's a plant to distract. It's an old tactic. But the people didn't put you in. They didn't put you in. They didn't put you in. They didn't vote for you. They didn't vote for you. Notice, LNC noticed that they was trying to move in on him while this distraction was going on. This guy was at the front of the meeting near Tiffany Henyard the entire time. Now, all of a sudden, he moved to him. He, In some of his later things, he's going to show and tell that Chief Lacey, y'all know who Potato is. He was making moves towards him. You had all Tiffany Henyard's corrupt people that she hired, her boyfriend Woods, Keith Freeman. Like, they're all making moves towards LNC. They're trying to get to him while the distraction is going on. So he knew, okay, the whole team of Dalton is walking out the door and they gave him looks. So it's time to bounce. That's his support team. So if his support team is leaving, he got to leave too. Like, I'm out. So people who was, you know, clowning them, saying, oh, you got to go back. Yo, we want to see the rest of the meeting. Yo, there was plenty of other YouTubers there. Go to their streams. See what the rest of the meeting is. I had to follow him, like, in his car. Him burning up the rearview mirrors. Like, that's hood tactics. That's hood PTSD. That's if you've been through some shit. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, you would know about that. But yeah, I agree with every move he made. Like, get the moving, man. Get the moving. So I can go to sleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because my phone has been on his live, my second phone, like, constantly. Until I knew he was back where he, in safety. Hotel, B and B, wherever the hell he was at, where the train is always going by, and he was talking himself to sleep. That's fine. I'm like, okay, I can go to sleep. But yeah, no, nah, I, 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 I rock with him, even if I don't agree with him. When it comes to his safety, 
Yeah, I'm on that. Like, plane tickets on the ready. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yo, hold on. Like, jail is one thing. But we're talking about physical safety. I don't care if I agree or disagree or whatever. Like, like I'm dead for that dude. Because he was on the ground. We ain't on the ground. We watching from home, right? All right, I'm going to continue. Because you violated my First Amendment rights on camera. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. What's your badge number? Okay, bet. I got you, sir. Thank you, sir. Coward. You're leaving, too? Yeah. I got what I need. <laughs> you have a good one, sir. I appreciate it, you tonight. Enjoy your trip in the hours. Thank you, sir. I never stay online that long, no. Oh, you actually know who I am? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. If you have more time, you could make it a shorter show. I probably could. <laughs> I'm going to shorten this one up, I promise you. Okay. You know? <laughs> Catch the one you niggas follow me, you know what time it is. You got a problem with that? Hello, Ace on there. Shout out to Long Island Audits. Oh, shit, yeah. I'll see the play. We'll talk shortly. We will talk shortly. Yeah, I fucked up. Uh, getting back to. What he was but saying. they strike gold with ex-boyfriend Abbas Esfahani when they talk with one of his friends. We were able to determine that Abbas had been there that the day. The reason why the scene bar, he took off, which had been the night prior to Cheryl Miller I'm trying outside. to get back to Abbas and Cheryl had uh, what he said. If y'all see the way he's looking at those rear view mirrors, like only dudes who've been through some shit. Only dudes who've been through some shit understand why he's burning that rearview mirror. Like, how many of you have you? How many of us have watched? Um, Mississippi burning. Let me go to my live. How many people have watched Mississippi Burning? How many have watched all those movies where you're in a town and you're thinking that the police are not that corrupt? The police there are really that corrupt. <laughs> you know, like, 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 you will lose your life. So you see him, he's in his car and like, Two seconds. He starts that car up and he's out of there. Nigga, the village adult walked out. I'm with the village adult. 
He's telling you. all there is to it. You got a problem with that? A lot of ice on there. Shout out to Long Island Audits. Oh, Shout out to everybody that's dead, but I'm out of here. Because he's the most hated by mm -hmm. Tiffany Henyon. Mm -hmm. She watches his stream. She got him demonetized, allegedly. She sent a whole bunch of bots to his page to say, oh, okay. stop paying him. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Whatever she had to say hey, by lies and innuendo. Oh, He's out of there. And he's if he's hit, not a physical threat, I would never threaten him. He's hitting the gas. Why would I ever do some shit like that? Anyway, we're not gonna watch a, a lot more of his stream because I I can report that he's safe. I'm sure that his next Video is going to be a tactical nuke incoming because that's what he likes to say, and I kind of like it. It's catchy. Niggas, first of all, them but, niggas um, turn the fucking heat up, bro. They turn the heat up, but he does say exactly what was fanning. going on. They turned the heat up, they, they was trying to push them out. All right, y'all. See you on the next one. Please like and comment, but. Most importantly, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. It's this super man that made me start this journey. All right, until the next one, I'm out because there's going to be next ones because it seems like this girl's gonna be around for a long time. And I don't wanna hear that Democrats, if you didn't vote Democrat, then you wouldn't be in this situation. Look, man. Y'all act like we got a choice. Because if you say, oh, just vote for Trump. Okay, so you ain't looking at the crazy. We're looking at the crazy stuff that has to do with Democrats. We're reporting on it. We're saying we know that the Democrat that we're voting for or that they made a mistake and voted for is corrupt. But we're trying to do something about it. What are y'all doing about Trump? So don't say vote Republican. I don't want to hear that, man. That's where y'all lose a lot of Democratic folks that are like, all we want is accountability, period. Whether they're a Democrat or a Republican, all we want is accountability. We see ain't no accountability. Don't say, oh, because he's getting sued in the Trump, 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 yeah. Republican. Yeah, come on, man. That clown show is a mess over that side. So we got nowhere to go. So all we can do is keep holding our own accountable. Are y'all holding y'all own accountable? Right. Or are you going to keep saying, oh, it's a fix. Like Tiffany Hinyard, the super mayor that is so corrupt. You just gonna keep saying it's fixed for him too? Come on, man. Wake up. All right, I'm out.